super special treat for you today. Way back in October, way, way back in October, we started drama class with the 6th through 8th graders. And when we first started, some of them said, you know what, I'm too shy, I don't want to talk. Some of them said, you know what, I don't want to be good with the scenery. And I said, you know what, you're in drama, and we all have talking parts in drama. And so they jumped in, and they have had a fantastic time, and they have done an incredible job. And I just want to tell you one more thing, what we did with the script is I found a free script online for the 12 angry pigs that the big bad wolf is going to be on trial. And we were kind of bored with it. And so each one of these students decided what they wanted their character to be like. So every piggy that you see really created their own character, their own personalities, whether they're angry or funny or serious or from another country. Mm. And so we went back into the boring script and we changed it all up. And they did a fantastic job. I know you're going to love it. What I need you to do is stay just a little bit quiet so that you can hear them. We have some microphones, but sometimes it gets a little bit hard to hear. All right? And we are off. Enjoy. No. 
up. What's that? Are you being cornered like grandma's feet? Oh, <laughs> let me clarify, darling. I'm not waking because I'm really not guilty. Uh, oh my gosh, you seriously think the big bad wolf is innocent? Well, my darlings, I haven't made up my mind yet. There have been so many stories about folks doing terrible things. Maybe we've paid more attention to those ludicrous fairy tales and not enough attention to the evidence. That's evidence. Did you sleep through the trial? From the lack of word evidence yet getting obvious to the naked eye or mind, evidence is the stuff that proves whether or not someone is guilty. In Bali, there should be adequate evidence to convince us all of this canine's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. Waiter! Um, there's like plenty of evidence. Well, I'd like to hear what all of you think. Go on, darling. Enlighten us with your absolute brilliance. Okay, that sounds fun. Let's take turns to explain to our fellow pig why we think the wolf is guilty. Why don't you go first? I believe the wolf is guilty because there was an eyewitness. A local village girl saw the whole crime take place. Since I'm sure that she would lie, there's a certain probability that the wolf must be guilty. Hey, it's a little free throwing now. Yo, piggies, I'm off to go about my flock sheep. We ate our dinner. What a nice young girl, why? That class would have picked a big, bad, pork rat eating sandwich. Me too. Every green points to the wolf as a smooth criminal. Who else could have done it? It's not a offensive for the only explanation. Most is not supposed to be doing Besides, he's a wolf, and you should see his dance moves. He can't even do the hustle. If he's not guilty of this crime, I'm sure he's guilty of something. Now let it. Shouldn't say that. It's no price. Everyone can do the hustle. Look, dude. The facts clear show that our wolf friend was angrier than an angry tide to on a surfboard. But he tried to act all radical on it. Listen. Yeah, like, did you see where that sheep's going during the trial? Well, I saw right through that! Well, I thought Little Blue's testimony was quite convincing. He claims he's a wolf scout, selling wolf scout cookies door to door. But there's no such thing as a wolf scout. That wolf needs to start with the man in the mirror. A lot of what there is. The wolf scouts and the cub scouts and the drag scouts and all sorts of scouts. They, they're not such wolves. They maybe I want to do play play. What do you mean? Look, Miss No Boy, I want to know why you go to the Big Bad Wolf not guilty. You're keeping us cooped up in here like chickens when we should be rolling around in the slop like pigs. And if the wolf didn't demolish those houses, then who did? I've been wondering about that myself, darling. Why would a wolf want to knock down a pig's house to begin with? Well, he wanted to eat it, eat it. Yep, he just wanted to eat it, eat it. So he put down the first one on Pig's house so he could gobble him up. So he could gobble him up. No, my darling, I'm not. Why wouldn't he just eat the cookies he was selling? Why waste all of that energy blowing down the house to begin with? By my calculations, he couldn't wait. He was just too hungry. If he was too hungry, then why didn't he eat the cookies he was selling? Because wolves don't eat cookies, they eat piggies and leprechauns. Yeah! They eat pork chops. Yeah! I damn hog. Yeah! And if they don't stop dying me and stop agreeing everything I said. Yeah! <laughs> All this talk about food is making me hungry. Can I get some mac and cheese? Me too. I'm hungry than a cow raisin in the desert. <laughs> I wish we had some lunch or something. And in Mother Russia, we eat snickerdoodles. Do you like snickerdoodles? Yo, piggies, it's chow time. Do you want to sing song? Then like 
How did the houses fall down? Think about it, darling. Of the three little pigs, only one knew how to build houses well, and he built his house out of brick. The houses of straw and sink were so frail, they could have fallen over when the wolf politely knocked on the door. Um, politely knocked? Do you believe this swine? Oh, poppycock. I'm just saying, it's possible. And since when do wolves blow air with the force of a hurricane? Larry, that's a very good point. I watched a documentary on wolves after watching the country show off the tales. Let me let you think about huffing or puffing or leprechauns. Which reminds me of something else that I find so conveniently forgot to mention. And what's that? Oh, bailiff! We'd like to examine a piece of evidence. Which one? The wolf's pack, please. And could you please bring some hot here? Wait a moment. Thank you, darling bailiff. What's a bailiff? Dolly, he's like a policeman for the courtroom. Throughout the trial process, he keeps things in order, but apparently doesn't serve hot tea. Order? I'd like to order an extra large cheese pizza, pulled pepperoni, and throw in some corn. Not that kind of order. Seriously, gee, I'm awfully hungry. Free cheese pizza, fresh from the oven, absolutely delicious. Me, I'm hungry. Just kidding, it's a sight. <laughs> Out, little girl blue. That joke's not funny anymore. We're trying to work here. As they say in Mount Russia, little thieves are hanged before they want to escape. Here's the wolf pack, and here's some hot tea. <laughs> I hope you like Earl Grey. It's all we had. Yes, thank you. Now let's see. Well, B, here are the Wolf Scout cookies and his Wolf Scout badge. Oh my head! That totally doesn't prove anything! Well, darlings, what about this? So what? Oh, darling, how could the so called Big Bad Wolf have him puff at all when he has asthma? <laughs> oh my goodness, how could he? Wait, so what? He's got asthma medicine in his Wolf Pack. Don't be jacking me, he probably stole it. Wolves do that. Um, I didn't let the other wolves or leprechauns, I left that in the north. Say, think we should have another wolf. Very well. Let's go around the table. All those who think the defendant is guilty, like spy, say, say, oi. 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 Like, oi. Not only kick. My calculations are still in support of the evidence at hand. I say oink. Picking a roll pigs, not oinking. Oinking like a grease pig being chased by a five year old. Darling, you know I'm not oinking. Well, I didn't know oinking either. This is the queen says oink. It's not the catch the waves to oink. A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. Not oinking. <laughs> That's seven oinks and five not oinking. You think you call yourself a jury? You wouldn't let that big bad wolf go footloose? What's with you? This little piggy is forgetful. This little piggy is gag me regretful. This little piggy's brain went to the market and this little piggy should have stayed home. And this little piggy, this little piggy went way, way, way all over the justice system. Oh, calm yourself, darling. There's no, we don't have enough evidence. Wait, there's a witness. The girl saw everything and she heard the little, and she heard the big bad girl say, little thing, little thing, let me in or I'll huff and pop and blow your house down. What more proof do you need? The wolf was hungry. The reliable witness said so. Look, we know that girls just want to have fun, but this is not fun anymore. We all you're trying to trick us. Bow, bow, bow! <laughs> I guess that means your witness isn't so reliable, darling. For the love of Mother Russia, I'm changing my vote to not guilty! Um, I need to. That girl is a liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> Looks like there's a glitch in my calculation because there's a reasonable doubt. 
I changed my milk too. Maybe we were wrong about this wolf. What's his name? Billy Jean? Oh, and he's not my lover. My dog, man. I knew he was just innocent all along. Gag me with a spoon. Are you serious? Drama, your bolter, hour six. Raise your hand if you want not guilty. Any votes for guilty? Like totally oi! Wake me up before you go go! I'm never changing my mind! This jury might be hung, of course you want a barn. This is an interesting moment. Um, what's a hung jury? When a jury is unable or unwilling to come to an unanimous decision resulting in a mistrial, I thought everyone knew that. What? I think I need to return my account to there and take a breath outside. Then I'm like, fine. Then it's a mistrial. My darling, isn't it obvious now? Beyond giving up. Let's keep talking. We're all big ears. He's guilty. No, my darling, what one? Apparently, he's not. Oh, Jenny, we've got your number, 8675309, and then we'll look guilty. No, darling, he's not. Yep, he is. Is it? Is it? Then simply prove it so we can all go home. Go on, darling, prove it. Why can't you be easy to think the way I do? The facts are plain. Charlotte is guilty. Charlotte? Who's Charlotte? Uh, Oh, my dear, but that's not what you said. Clearly it was to see you. Now come, come, Buttercup. Who is she? <laughs> she has a spider named Charlotte, and she was my best friend. But then I think her better and loved me. And I promised my mom time after time I would never trust another not thing again. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't help me. Well, okay, darling, I think it's quite time. Now we're ready. All right. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Foreman, do we have a verdict? Is it a deal? Or no deal. <laughs> For the love of all that is in this road, we have come to a decision. Oh, well, well, come on down. This is your, you're the next person on the price is right.